There are many debates among the Sopranos community. What did the ending mean? Did Ralph kill Piomai? Who really ate Tony's lo mein? But the biggest unanswered question of all is what gave Tony food poisoning in the episode Funhouse? The chicken vindaloo or the mussels at Vesuvia? I, I can't have this conversation again. Alright, so I admit it's not the most important issue. But it is heavily debated in the community. When I did my video on everything I missed in the Soprano logs, for example, I mentioned that I thought it was the Italian food that poisoned Tony, and a lot of people left comments disagreeing with me and saying it was the Indian food. That is so racist. Now, at first, I just chalked this up to the usual Sopranos memory, and I believe that there was no real answer to the question. But I've been thinking about the episode recently, and I started to come around to a different point of view. So, we're going to discuss it in this video. And if you don't think this is a good video topic, well, that breaks my heart. But I'm not running a fucking popularity contest here. At the beginning of the season 2 finale Funhouse, Tony eats with Big Pussy in an Indian restaurant as part of a meeting for their phone card scheme. Later, they meet with Silvio and Furio at Artie's restaurant, and also eat some mussels. This is what is known in the fat guy community as a bang bang. Just we're to... doing a bang bang. What's a bang bang? No, it's not a... Oh, that's where we go have a whole meal at one place and then go right to another place and have another one. Bang bang. Later, Tony wakes up in the middle of the night thinking he's having a panic attack. However, he realizes that it's actually his stomach and rushes to the bathroom. He has a very bad case of food poisoning and experiences strange and vivid fever dreams that ultimately lead him to realizing that Pussy has been an informant this whole time. Though Pussy is one of Tony's closest friends, he and the others whack Pussy and dump him into the ocean. The killing of a friend is a fundamental moment for Tony and marks the beginning of a steady moral decline for him in the further seasons. But we're not talking about any of that deep character bullshit right now. The thing I want to know is what gave Tony the food poisoning. At first, Tony blames the Indian food, as it has a reputation in America for causing stomach problems. Wow, is do I need to do anything tomorrow that doesn't involve me being bent over in excruciating pain three feet from a toilet? No. Time for some tikka masala. However, when the muscles from Vesuvio come up undigested, he instead thinks that Artie is to blame. Artie defends himself, insisting that he uses high quality shellfish and that the ghee that the Indians cook with could be rancid. They call Pussy, who experienced a little bit of diarrhea but no other symptoms. Pussy ate the same Indian appetizer with Tony but not the same entree. They both had the muscles at Vesuvio though. Later, Doc Cusimano comes over to take a look at Tony. He says that he doesn't believe that the Indian food is to blame, as the spices they cook with have antibacterial properties. So we have arguments for and against each side, but we ultimately don't get a definitive answer either way. Now I'm going to skirt around any discussions about the real life statistics about foodborne illness. Either restaurant is capable of having an outbreak, regardless of the standards of hygiene they have. And again, this is a show written by writers who are setting up both possibilities in order to facilitate the story. At first, I thought there was no real answer. Like the question of who left the note in Tony's hospital room in season 6, it's not really about who it was specifically, it's about what effect it had on Tony. In this case, the food poisoning was just a means for Tony to have his dream and realization about pussy. Which food it was specifically just doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Now, I personally thought it was more likely that Artie was the one responsible, just because the idea that Tony was poisoned by his own cultural food fit with the theme of Pussy's betrayal of their family. However, I've come around to a new idea. I don't think Tony had food poisoning at all. I think the whole thing was psychosomatic and just a manifestation about his anxiety over killing Pussy. This mental stuff can cause physical problems, right? Here's my evidence. When Tony first wakes up, he thinks he's having a panic attack. So big nothing. What is? 
life. Tony, that is your mother talking. Tony's panic attacks always followed feelings of despair caused by his mafia life. In this case, it's because subconsciously he knows he's going to have to kill his best friend for betraying their family. After all, you can see Tony is subtly bothered about how nonchalantly Pussy is describing their illegal scheme to Furio. It's like Michael Corleone realizing that it was Fredo that betrayed him. I know it was you, Fredo. You know what scene I love most? It was you, Fredo. I think the panic attack causes a psychosomatic response, as Tony was not yet ready to deal with the issue until he went through his dream sequence. The dream allows Tony to work through his denial of the situation and realize what he needs to do. You know I've been working with the government, right, Tom? Don't say it. Come on, Tom. Sooner or later, you gotta face facts. I don't wanna hear it. Well, you're gonna hear it. This is not the first time we've heard of something like this happening on the show. Earlier in the season, for example, Junior goes to the doctor, who suggests that he also has a psychosomatic issue. The thing is, Doc, I've been feeling these, like, little fibrillations. Psychosomatic. You got out of jail out of medical. It's the mind-body connection. Your body is just pitching in to help. In Season 5, Adriana develops IBS due to the stress she feels from being forced to be an informant for the FBI and betray Christopher. She literally couldn't stomach the issue. Plus, they put me on Prozac. The diarrhea? To help me cope and handle stress, which is a lot of what causes it. And finally, most interestingly, in Season 1 when Tony and Melfi discuss Pussy's back problem, she attributes it to feelings of stress from keeping secrets. Psychologically, a secret is a, a heavy load. It leads to feelings of guilt which further burden the mind. This is one of the things that originally made Tony think that Pussy was a rat, before he allowed himself to buy into Pussy's lie. Fuck. You passed me over for promotion, Tom. You know. So, we have multiple examples of psychological stress causing physical issues. And this is without a doubt one of the most traumatic things Tony has gone through up until this point. Tony repeatedly states that Pussy is one of his closest friends. I'm sorry, I know you like him. Like him? I fucking love him. They've known each other since they were young, and Tony has been there for Puss when no one else was. Betraying Tony causes Pussy much distress as well, and it manifests as his back pain and his Stockholm Syndrome with the FBI. All of a sudden, we're the good guys. It's the worst case of Stockholm Syndrome I've seen since Patty Hearst. It only makes sense that Tony would struggle with this issue. He agonizes over the decision for two seasons, and killing Puss takes a remarkable toll on his character moving forward. He continues to be haunted by the memory of his friend. And, after this, he would become so cold and heartless that killing his own nephew Christopher barely had an effect on him at all. Let me tell you something. I've murdered friends before, even relatives. My cousin Tony, my best friend, Push. But this? So, while the question of what gave Tony food poisoning might seem like an insignificant issue, we can see that it's actually a critical part of the themes of the series. And it's another great example of how deep this show really is. I'm always coming away with new interpretations and new connections I never thought about every time I watch an episode. And I'm grateful to have the opportunity to share these thoughts with all of you. As always, be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe for more Sopranos content coming soon. Uh, happy holidays, I guess? Ops Grazing Media, Daz J Kid, Sam Cedarland, Celery Man, Jenna Marie Johnson, Brad Smith Studios, Uncle Mike, Shane Boyce, and Matt Joyce. <laughs>